To write the formula for SO3, first we need to recognize that it's a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. We have sulfur right there and then oxygen. These are both nonmetals. So when we have nonmetals bonded together, that's a covalent or molecular compound, and we need to use these prefixes down here when we write the name. So first, we write the name for both elements. We have sulfur, and then we have oxygen. Next, we're going to change the ending on the second element, that's the oxygen, to IDE. So we take and write IDE, and at this point, we have the name sulfur oxide for this SO3. But now we need to look at the prefixes here. So sulfur, there's just one of those. When we have just one of that first element here, we don't do anything. So we're just going to leave that as sulfur. But the oxygen, we have three of those. So we need to write tri in front of the oxide. So we write tri oxide. And the name for SO3 is sulfur trioxide. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula for sulfur trioxide, you'd know there's just one sulfur and then three oxygen atoms. So you'd write SO3. This is Dr. V with the name for SO3, sulfur trioxide. Thanks for watching.